What are your responsibilities for the production? Um, I'm doing the sound for the production, so to make sure all the mics are working properly and that they all have batteries. What are your responsibilities for the production? Uh, just to get here on time every day and make sure I know all my lines and song parts and all my cues and blocking and all that stuff. What are your responsibilities for the production? Well, I have to have my lines memorized and know my blocking and be able to perform my part when the time comes. What are your responsibilities for the production? Well, I'm the costume person, the one who designs the costumes and gets people fitted. What are your responsibilities for the production? Building. What are your responsibilities for the production? Well, I'm an actor. Uh, I play uh, uh, Zeke and uh, the Cowardly Lion slash Cowardly Lion. And uh, so it's my uh, responsibilities. I have to know my lines. I have to be uh, on pitch when I sing my songs. I have to know where I have to go to for certain parts, so it's a lot of work, and uh, I'm glad I'm doing it, though. What are your responsibilities for the production? Well, one responsibility I have is, one, I'm an actor in the show, and two, I'm also working backstage when I have the extra time. What are your responsibilities for the production? Responsibilities? Definitely having lines memorized as well as songs and then all the blocking and really getting into character. What are your responsibilities for the production? Um, I play four characters in the production, which are um, the Munchkin and an Ozian and a Winky, which like are the witches people. And then I'm also in the costume design, so um, it's very it's very rewarding stuff to be in all the background and to like be in all the scenes and then also work on all the costumes. What are your responsibilities for the production? Uh, well, I'm an actor, so my responsibility is to um, know my lines and to be able to uh, work with whatever's going on on stage and remembering my blocking and where to go uh, with each line and how to say it. So it's basically the part that you actually see on stage as opposed to all the tech and crew that you don't see on stage. What are your responsibilities for the production? Uh, the two things that I focus on primarily are construction and sound. What are your responsibilities for the production? My responsibilities are, um, well, Mrs. Delmonico and I work together to make schedules and, you know, get all the kids here at certain times, but we, I teach all the kids their vocal parts, um, the ensemble, big ensembles, big groups, and the solos and all that stuff. We put all that together. I work with the dance chorus to put all that together on stage and all the blocking, and then, of course, I have to do all the music for the pit, directing that with the vocals. What are your responsibilities for the production? I am the director of the show, and I am the tech director of the show. So the responsibilities start when we choose the show, and I do that with Ms. Scordato, who's the music director. And we picked a show that um, we thought was appropriate and that our students can do and do well. And then um, I go about renting all the materials, because in order to do a show, you have to rent the materials. So you have to get royalties from the publishing companies. They have to say, yes, you can do it, and then they charge you to do it. You have to rent the music from the publishing company. So they have to say, yes, you can do it, and then they send you all the books, and you have to rent the books, and you have to rent the vocal scores for the show. So I have to make sure all that paperwork goes through and they get all their money. Uh, then I have to put together a, um, a pr production assistant. So I have Ms. Gordado, she's the musical director, and Ms. Chiganos and Ms. Tantillo are choreographers. And Mr. Delmonico is a production assistant. He helps backstage. Um, I have Miss Lawrence doing costumes. Um, we have an art teacher who may or may not help us do, do some props, Miss Wolf. So you have to get a, a production crew together and then getting all the students together to work backstage. And then you have to run auditions. And then you have to cast the show. And then once you cast the show, then you have to do rehearsal schedule and you have to make sure that the students come to their rehearsal schedule. And my job as director is, is blocking the scenes, making sure the characters know where they're supposed to be at any given moment and making sure that they can um, execute those moves and making sure that they bring the characters to life and they make the characters seem lifelike and not you know, f flat. They need to be three-dimensional, realistic characters. Why did you decide to audition for The Wizard of Oz? Well, I've been doing uh, theater for, uh, for the past couple of years, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I don't know, I just, it's just such a rewarding experience to be, uh, to be portraying something and, and creating something for the, you know, the enjoyment of everybody else. And it, 
for that good feeling you you get when you you've completed it and you've made it your own and and everyone claps at the very end that's 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 what I do it for why did you decide to audition for the Wizard of Oz well I've been in theater for my past uh, since fourth grade actually uh, and this is my third year at Morton so uh, I, I really I mean there's nothing else that I'd rather do but be in theater and I'm kind of looking to pursue it as a career too so and the Wizard of Oz is just an amazing show that I, mean, I definitely couldn't pass up the opportunity to be in it. Why did you decide to audition for The Wizard of Oz? Well, I love doing theater here, and I also love the musicals and The Wizard of Oz, so it just all worked out. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? I, um, as soon as I think is when the building up, the days right before the performances when we're getting ready to do all the, the costumes and like rehearsing with the costumes and actually performing it, even though there's no audience, it just it feels like all of it is real. It's very real. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? Um, the scenery, I guess. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? I guess when all the costumes are done. I can't wait to see them all done and on stage. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? Uh, the actual performances, just, and the whole production and to see how it comes out finished. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to everything the most, but one moment is uh, having to sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow because it's such like an iconic moment that I'm, it's going to be like awesome. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to the most of the twister. I want to see how we put it all together. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? I'm really looking forward to the effects because we have... Uh, a lot of cool stuff in store. I mean, I mean, turn around, you can see the, uh, the one of the pieces of set that we have, and it just looks so real. It's like something that I've never seen before here, and uh, it's just the effects that I'm really looking forward to. What part of the production are you looking forward to the most? The building. <laughs>